Hey everyone, it's Elizaveta and I am back with this week's edition of Yoga for Tango Dancers. I got a lot of responses to the last week's tutorial on the three leg stretches and some of you guys are dealing with some back pain and those leg stretches that we did last week uh, perhaps caused some irritation. So I wanted to show you how you can do those same leg stretches without having to use your back. So for this particular tutorial, what you will want to have is a surface to lie down on. I have a yoga mat down on the floor. Uh, you can be on a carpet. Uh, you can also be on a bed or a couch, but I have to say that the firmer the surface that you're on, the better. Secondly, what you'll need is some sort of a, a strap or a belt. You can use a towel, anything that you can just kind of sling over your foot for one of the stretches. Um, I am using here a martial arts um, uh, belt that my boyfriend has um, had since he was a kid. So you can uh, choose what you want uh, to use for this. It'll be really uh, simple. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down. And what you wanna feel when you lie down is that you have a pretty supported uh, feeling from the head all the way through your pelvis. The knees can stay bent. The first stretch that we'll do will be for our hamstrings. So I want you to grab your belt, towel, or whatever else you're using and you're going to swing it over your right foot and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling to the best of your ability. Now, depending on the length of your hamstrings, you might be somewhere here with the knee slightly bent. This is going to be your level of working at this level. So go ahead and from here, just grab the belt and just slightly pull the leg towards your head a little bit at a time. Now, for some of you, you can straighten the leg all the way. Maybe you can straighten the leg all the way and it's out here. That's where you can start. And then you do the work of pulling the leg in a little bit at a time. Now, if this is too easy and you wanna go a little bit further, then go ahead and straighten your left leg out. So that will add a little bit of stretch. So we're gonna just hold this for a few breaths. You wanna make sure that the stretch is not so intense that you're having to hold your breath or clench your jaw or pray to God that it's gonna be over any second. So if you're feeling that kind of tension, go ahead and just either bend the knee or let the leg go a little bit away from that angle. So let's be here for Another five deep breaths. Ah, enjoying the stretch. With the exhalation, you can pull the leg in a little bit more towards your head. And then when you inhale, the leg can release. So that's an optional way of doing this. Let's just do one more breath here. Good. And then we'll soften the leg and release. So once you relax that leg, just take a moment and notice the difference between your right and your left right now. Usually the leg that you just stretched feels a little bit more heavy. It might feel a little bit longer. So keep track for yourself as to what sensations you're experiencing. And then we'll go to the other side. So let's go ahead and begin with the knees bent again. We'll hook the left foot and get your level correct for your body. So your knee might be bent. You might stay with the other knee bent as well, or you can straighten the leg and extend the opposite leg on the floor. Same thing working uh, here slowly stretching a little bit more on the exhale. When you inhale, you can gently relax. So as you're doing this, um, I'll take this moment to answer a very popular question 
or conundrum I hear from my students is how, how flexible should your hamstrings really be? So the hamstrings are these muscles behind the leg. How flexible, how much flexibility is enough? How much should you strive for? So I always say that the 90 degree angle that you're getting lying down, so I'm a little bit beyond that, maybe right here. This is really the optimal that you need. Anything beyond that is extra, but this 90 degree angle is what you want to strive for. If you're not there, that means you have a goal. So little by little doing these kinds of stretches for just a few minutes a day, every other day will really help. All right, so we are about done on this side. So go ahead and release. And again, take a moment to shake it out and feel the two sides. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pose called happy baby pose or unhappy adult, whichever you want to align yourself with today. So you bring your knees in, have them out to the side. So that already will feel really nice on your lower back. The next step is to see if you can grab behind the knees and flex your feet. So for some, you, you might feel yourself, you're more here. So you just grab behind the knees and then you pull in. If you can, grab your feet on the outside and then pull the legs down. So I'm actually pulling the shin down towards the floor as if I'm trying to bring my thighs to the floor, right? So this, is, this requires a bit of flexibility. So if you're not quite there, you can be here. You can be grabbing on here. The fun part about this is once you're holding it, allow yourself to go ahead and kind of go side to side. And this kind of gives your lower back a little bit of a massage. It stretches the inner thighs and some of the hip muscles. So go ahead and rock side to side gently. If you wanna add a little bit more, whichever side you're going to, so I'm on the right here, I'm gonna stretch my right leg out a little bit more and then come back to center and go to the left and stretch the left leg. So that's just an extra bonus if you feel like it. Otherwise, just stay with the original uh, position here for the happy baby pose. So we'll do just a couple of more breaths. This, by the way, is a really beautiful stretch and uh, movement to do for your lower back. So if you have lower back discomfort, this is a good one to do on a regular basis. All right, and then release. We have just one more stretch. Um, so we're going to do this uh, figure four or thread the needle position. Um, all you do is you put your uh, right ankle on your left knee and let the right knee open out. From here, your hands will go either behind your left thigh or on top of your left shin. So this is a little bit less intense than going to the top. So decide which one you want to do. And then two things for you to focus on. One is you're hugging in. You're hugging your knees in. You're trying to bring them closer to your chest. Two, your pelvis. Remember how last week we talked about untucking the pelvis, reaching the tail up towards the ceiling? Well, we're doing the same thing, but we're reaching the tail towards the floor. So as I am bringing my knees in, I'm also thinking about untucking my pelvis, reaching my tail towards the floor, which will increase the feeling of the stretch here. A lot of times the lower back discomfort is caused uh, by some trigger of the sciatic nerve, which is a really big nerve that originates in the spine and then it goes all the way down the leg. So if you have ever had any kind of shooting sensation down the leg, most likely that's the sciatic nerve trigger. And it's really thick and it's very easy to get it um, upset. This stretch right here is one of the go-to stretches. That's possibly my number one recommended stretch uh, 
first to, before I try anything else to alleviate. So it will stretch some of the muscles around the sciatic nerve to alleviate some of the um, discomfort. All right, let's go ahead and release this side. We'll go to the other side. So same thing, left ankle on top of the right knee, hands go either behind your right thigh or on top of the right shin, whichever you like. And then once you're there, you have two things you're thinking about. One is you're hugging the leg into your chest. Secondly, you're untucking your pelvis towards the floor or whichever surface you're on. So again, breathing deeply, monitoring your reaction. So if these stretches are new to you, feel free to modify so that they're more pleasant. Um, it's very important that you feel that you can enjoy these, otherwise you won't do them. At least that's how it is for me. I have to actually enjoy it. Um, Otherwise, I, I don't want to do it. So let's just take a couple more deep breaths here. Hugging in while you're untucking your tailbone. And then let's go ahead and release. And a nice way to finish is just to relax both legs out and just feel for a few moments just the sensations that are now present. And shake your legs side to side and just check in. To wrap up, make sure when you're getting out of this, uh, you do it mindfully because you've just relaxed a lot of things. So you don't want to tense them back up. So I recommend bending the knees and then turning to your side first and then pressing up with the help of your arms. So I hope you enjoyed this modified version. Uh, you can switch back and forth between using the standing leg stretches when you're on the go, maybe you're on the dance floor somewhere, you don't have a floor to lie down on. You can still stretch all of those muscles using a chair. And then when you get home or when you're getting up in the morning and you're feeling like you wanna be lying down, your back is talking to you, then do it on the floor and you'll get the same results. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please post your questions and comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, always love hearing more topics that I can cover. Uh, it helps me to continue the conversation. And uh, make sure if you haven't done so already, download my free guide to Happy Tango Posture, which just uh, gives you an overall a look at what most essential alignments you need to have in your body to move well without putting much stress in your body. And of course, I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel uh, so we can uh, continue our conversation. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Ciao.